These are the potatoes that we're growing for our true potato seed experiment. This potato here was one of the first potato seeds to sprout, which was why we decided to grow this one. This potato was also one of the first to sprout. We only picked two potato plants out of these six potato seeds that sprouted. We picked the most vigorous plants, the ones that looked like their growth was very good. This potato seed grew about two weeks later with a couple of others. We only picked this one because the others were kind of spindly and weak and this one seemed to be doing the best, it seemed to be the healthiest out of all of the, the other seedlings that grew. Also the stem has an interesting color. The other stems on the potato plants were mostly green. This has a very dark purple stem, so it was different from the others, so we decided to give this one a shot. These last three potato seedlings grew about a month from when the first potato seedlings sprouted. This potato had reddish green tubers on it, which was why we chose this one over many of the other seedlings. We thought the color looked interesting, so we figured we'd give this a try for our experiment. This potato plant had purple and white, and the purple was a very bright purple. Um, the little tubers on it were purple and white. Very cool looking, so that's why this one was chosen over all the others. This one was chosen because all along the potato stem there were potato nodes um, little nodes where little potatoes were growing and we thought this one would be a very interesting one to see if uh, it grew a bunch of potatoes all along its stem uh, and did it very prolifically versus most of the potatoes growing from the bottom. So that's why we chose this and the color was a, a neat looking lilac or possibly pink. A little hard to tell since the tubers are so tiny but we'll see what we get. So the goal of our potato experiment is to use the true potato seed and grow some potatoes that do well in our climate, that have really good disease resistance and pest resistance, um, potatoes that uh, we like that are different from whatever else is available. We want to see how long it takes them to grow from planting out to harvest. We're going to be looking at the coloring of the tubers the shape of the tubers. We're going to look at how long they last in storage and also of course how they taste which is the most important thing. Do they taste really good? We also have three types of potatoes growing in our front garden. One of them is a fingerling potato. Eventually these potato bags will get moved to that garden where the other potatoes are so that as they start to flower the flowers can cross-pollinate and we will save the seeds from the potato seeds that we purchased as tubers as well as these potatoes that we grew from true seed. Some of these potato tubers will get saved. If they're all fabulous then we'll save all of them and grow all of the tubers um, next year and any that we, we feel didn't quite make the cut we won't grow again. We'll just eat whatever there is available and we'll just get rid of the rest, compost the rest. But any tubers that pass the test that we feel are exceptional tubers, we will make sure that we continue to grow them out from tuber. But we will also save seed from these potatoes as well as from the potato tubers that we purchased that are growing in the front garden.